Hello, friends, it's Mr. Jim, and welcome back to Kids Animal Stories. Right now, I need you to smash the follow button so you don't miss out on any of our awesome stories. Well, today's, my friends, we are going into the creepy land of Hercules beetles. Have you heard of a Hercules beetle? Well, they are strong, and they are powerful, and they are very good parents. Are you guys ready for today's story? Me too! Let's go! It was a beautiful day in the forest where Jules and Oliver lived. They were Hercules beetles. Hercules beetles are ginormous beetles with a very long horn on the top of their head. These beetles are probably much bigger than any other beetle that you've ever seen before. What is an important part of a beetle? Like, how do you know something is a beetle by looking at it? Hmm, does a beetle have a tail? Not exactly. Do beetles have wings? Yes, they do. Do they have a hard shell? Yes, they do. Their wings live inside underneath that hard shell. They're not like a bee or a fly where their wings are out for all to see all the time. They pull their soft wings inside underneath all that armor and it works to protect their wings. Well, Jules and Oliver, like I said, lived in this forest and they had a very important job right now. They were caring after their eggs that they had laid inside of an old tree. It was a beautiful tree overlooking a very big river. It was kind of up high on a cliff, and deep down below, they could hear the waves and and the water crashing over the boulders in the river. Oh, Oliver, I just love where we live, said Jules. Yes, this... This is a great place. Really happy where we chose to lay these eggs. How do you think the kids are doing? Said Oliver. Jules walked over to the side of the tree and put her body up against the tree. She could feel the vibrations inside of it. And yep, they're all doing great, said Jules. Yes. So you see, Hercules beetles, they lay their eggs inside of a tree like inside the wood. And then once those eggs hatch into larvae, can you say larvae? Yes, the larvae is what first hatches out of the eggs, but they do not look like beetles. Larvae, they look kind of like kind of a caterpillar or a grub or a worm. Yeah, and that that is a baby beetle. And they stay larva for a very long time, sometimes up to an entire year long. And so Jules and Oliver, they need to stay with their eggs for a very long time to make sure nobody tries to eat them. Because those larvae can be pretty tasty to some creatures. Can you think of a creature that might want to eat the larva in the tree? Who pecks away at a tree? to make a hole to find bugs inside the tree. A woodpecker? Yes, woodpeckers, they love to eat larvae. So Jules and Oliver are always on the lookout. Hey, Jules, said Oliver. I need to go sharpen my horn, so I'm going to be gone for a little bit. But uh, don't worry, I'll be back, and I'll even bring back some delicious dinner. (gasps) Oh, that would be terrific, said Jules. I'm getting kind of hungry. As Oliver went out and about to go find some food, Jules heard some unusual sounds from inside the tree. Who was that? Crack, crack, crack. Oh, is, oh no. Kids, slow down. Don't eat too much. You might knock the tree over, said Jules. You see, as the larvae are eating away at the wood inside the tree... Sometimes they can make the tree very weak and start to crack and it might even tip over. And this is not a good spot for a tree to fall over because it's right next to a cliff over a river. And yes, that would not, not at all be a good place for this tree to fall over. 
Oliver made it back with some delicious food. Jules couldn't believe it. He had brought back a tomato and some delicious leaves and fresh bark from a nearby ash tree. Oliver, while you were gone, I heard all kinds of cracking sounds from the tree. I think our kids are eating way too much of the tree. We have to tell them to slow down. Oh, honey, said Oliver. I'm sure it was just the branches, you know, cracking maybe in the wind. There's no way that they could have eaten all the way through the tree by now. Oh, you're probably right, said Jules. Well, that night they ate their dinner. And over the next couple weeks, those larvae continued to chomp and chomp and chomp at the wood inside of that tree. And pretty soon that sound came back. Crack, crack, crack. (gasps) Oliver, I heard it again. Did you hear that? Oliver looked up at the tree and, yes, I did. That did sound very strange, he said. And just then, a gust of wind came out of nowhere and... (sighs) Crack, 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 crack. The tree started to crack and tip. Oh no, shouted Jules. The tree is starting to fall. Oliver, do something. Oliver ran up the tree as fast as he could towards where the larvae were eating away. There were small holes around the bark of the tree that they were inside, and Oliver had to race over there and try and maybe pull them out. Kids, come over here. Hurry. One by one with his horn, he poked it inside of the hole and pulled each of the larvae out and plopped them down onto the ground. Jules grabbed onto them so they didn't roll away. Jules looked up again at the tree and saw that it was tipping over. Like, for real! It's falling! She shouted to Oliver, who was still up on the tree. He held onto the bark for dear life with all of his little legs. You see, his legs have little hooks in them that he can hold on to the bark very strongly. Look out, Jules! shouted Oliver as the tree began to crash. Oh no! What is going to happen to all those baby Hercules beetles? Are Jules and Oliver going to be able to save them all in time or is it too late? And what about Oliver? He's still dangling onto the tree as it's falling. We'll have to wait and see what happens on the next episode of Kids Animal Stories. Great job, you listened all the way to the end, and holy smokes, those Hercules beetles are super cool. I would love if you drew me a picture of a Hercules beetle and sent it to me on Instagram. Look for the Kids Animal Stories Instagram and take a picture of your drawing. I would love to see it. Well, my friends, I hope you have a super duper day. And I hope Oliver is able to hold on tight to the tree as it's falling over. (laughs) I'll see you next time on Kids Animal Stories. Bye!